Hello and welcome to another how-to series by Someker. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a calendar in Excel from scratch. There are three methods to create a calendar in Excel. We can create a monthly calendar, yearly calendar, or we can use ready-to-use Excel templates. So let's start with the first one, monthly calendar. So let's start building the calendar by modifying cell borders. Next, I'm going to create a drop-down button so we can choose the month for the calendar. Let's enter days for our calendar. Let's apply a little bit of formatting. Now, I'm going to create a drop-down for the month. To do that, we have to write down all months into another sheet. So, let's do that. So, we're going to use these to create a drop-down. Let's select this cell and go to data, then data validation here. And we're going to select list under the LO section. Now I'm going to select the source of the dropdown. Now let's click OK. As you see, the dropdown button shows all those months. Let's select January. Next, we want to create a title for our calendar that shows the selected year and month. To do that, we'll use a specific formula. Let's click on the month. Now, every time we change the year and the month, the title will change automatically. To create the calendar, we're going to need two additional data, month number and the first day of the month. So let's calculate those. It's very simple to calculate the month number. We're going to use a match formula for this one. Then select the month. Then for the lookup array, we're going to choose all those months and choose the exact match. We also need to know the first day of the selected month. For instance, we have to know the first day of January 2022. So we're going to use a very simple formula to calculate that. We're going to use weekday formula for this. Then the date formula. Let's choose the year. And the month number we calculated here. And the day is 1 as January 1st. And the return type. For the return type, we're going to choose 2. So this means Monday would be indicated as 1 and Sunday would be indicated as 7. According to calculation, the first day of the month is 6, which means the first day of January 2022 is the sixth day of the week, which is Saturday. We can cross-check the first day of January 2022 just to make sure. Here, it's Saturday. Now we can check the first day of each month. For instance, for March 2022 is the second day, which is Tuesday. Now we're going to use the sequence formula to create the calendar. We type the row number of the calendar, which is 6, and the columns, which is 7. Now it fills the calendar with sequence of numbers, but what we need is dates, so we're going to use the date formula now. Now we choose the year, B1. Now we're going to choose the month number we calculated here. And we're going to put 1 here, as we want the first day of the month. Let's hit enter. So all these numbers are associated with dates, but we have to change the formatting 
to weave them as dates. So let's select them all and choose short date. Now we see them as dates, but the values are not correct. As you see, the first day of March should be Tuesday. So we're going to modify the formula here. So we're going to subtract the weekday value, then hit enter. Now we see the right values. Now we have a working dynamic calendar. Now we want to erase the dates which don't belong to the selected month. As you see, you can see the January 31st year. To do that, we're going to use a simple if condition. This will check whether the month number of given date equal to the month number of the selected month. And put equal and select month number. So if the value is true, we want those days to be shown. And if it's false, we want them to be disappeared. Now we're going to put blank. I also want to see only the days. So we're going to click on more number formats and let's choose this one and erase the months here. We can highlight the weekends. Now we have a perfectly working dynamic calendar. Let's continue with the second method, yearly calendar. First, we write the year on the top and the weekdays. Now we write the weekdays. Now we're going to use the sequence formula again. Go to the first cell below the weekdays. And for rows, we're going to put 54. And since there are 7 days, we're going to put 7 here. Now we're going to use date function. Now we're going to select the year and for the month we're going to go with the January so we'll type 1, day 1 and we're going to put 1 for the step. Now it gives us the numbers associated with dates but once we change the formatting to short date it will show the dates. So let's do that. The dates are currently incorrect since we haven't calculated the first day of the month. For instance, the first day of January 2022 is actually Saturday. We can cross check here. Saturday. So let's calculate the first day of the month. To calculate the first day of the month, we're going to add weekday function in our existence sequence formula here. So we want to subtract the weekday formula here. Now we're going to add date. Select the year and month and the day. And for the return type, we're going to choose this one. So Monday would be zero and Sunday would be six. Let's cross the bracket. Now the dates are correct and the first day of the month is Saturday as it's supposed to be. Lastly, we want to use basic conditional formatting to erase the dates that don't belong to the selected year. Just select the calendar, let's click on conditional formatting and choose new rule. And write down the following formula. Let's delete the dollar signs. Now we're going to click on format and select the white color. Click OK. Now we have erased the previous and the next year. We can also separate months 
using basic conditional formatting. Let's select our calendar, click on conditional formatting and then new rule. And we're going to use the following formula. Select this cell. Now we're going to click on format, fill. Now we have to choose a color. Select this one, click OK. Now we separate the months with color. So finally, our calendar is ready. And this is how we create a yearly calendar using Excel. Let's continue with the third method, ready to use Excel templates. These are ready to use Excel templates designed by experts, and they can be downloaded from third parties. If you don't have time to create a calendar in Excel or simply want a better version, you can download Someka Dynamic Calendar Excel template for free. Just go to Someka's website. and search for dynamic calendar click on dynamic calendar excel template and you can download this template for free by clicking the download free version button thanks for watching